Hello guys, in this video we will learn about how to make the uh, site with the help of all the uh, tools present on the left side, right? So first we will start marking the boundary, we will go to the model, flat roof, we will zoom in for better accuracy, like this one. I will hit enter for the last line. Now the boundary is completed. I have marked the half of the boundary because other half is the you know uh, which is the mirror right. So I have marked the boundary with the help of the flat roof. I will go to the obstruction cylinder. Zoom in. Mark the cylinder like this. Add the height as 0 0.6. Hit enter. Control C, Control V for copy paste, and move it like here. Then we will press Ctrl C, Ctrl V for repeat the tool, like which is because this is repeating after at equidistance, right? So I will press R on my keyboard after Ctrl V. Then I will press on my screen that how many types I want to repeat that. So I want to repeat it ten times. So I will have I enter the ten on my keyboard. Then make sure the three of them are aligned correctly. So other seven will be aligned correctly as well like this one right the last two are not aligned so i will click and hold and align it at proper location like this i will select the last one control c control v press r and 3 because no it's four time so backspace four right so i will place it over here after that, there are some obstruction as well, like this is the skyline. So we'll go to the obstruction, select the polygon, make an obstruction like this one. Now you can see the side area that we call as the blue highlighted area that we call as the setback. The setback is outside, the setback outside is so much, that is 0.5. I will reserve it as a 0.1. Now, there is a one toggle as well that we call as a flush type toggle. Flash type toggle means it will take the base height and the tilt and the azimuth from the below roof, right? I will enable this and update this. I will select the roof, give the tilt as the 6 degree and base height as 8 meters and azimuth toward east side and update it. Now let's see in 3D. You can see it is tilted in a east side as well, the setback the skylight as well now we will go to the 2d by double two double two is for 2d and double three is for 3d then i will select the polygon press ctrl c ctrl v and press r and three because fourth one is not repeated at the same distance so that's why i have repeated only three times now i will press the ctrl v again paste it over here now control c control v r 3 and i will place it over here now you can see the last one uh, length is higher so i will select that and stretch it now i have placed the skylight as well next we will use the walkway to place it here select the walkway Place the walkway here for walking distance so that we can play, clean the panel as well like this one. I can increase the width and height from here. I will add the, the handrail as well. I will go to the obstruction, go to handrail, zoom in. I will make sure the handrail should be in a, inside the roof like this one. I will start from inside, go here. Zoom out. I will go in down. Then I will click here. Then I will press the complete button. Now you can see the handrail is created. The handrail default height is uh, 0.9 meter. That is approximately equal to 3 foot. Now we will go to the 3D. That's how my half of the roof is completed. Now only thing which is left is placing the panel right we will do in a next video thank you